guys and welcome! Getting a snake is an amazing experience, but before you get one, especially if it is your first one, here are five things for you to consider before buying it. Number one, do you have the room for it? Depending on the size of the snake, of course, you really have to consider if you do have the room for it. If you're going for a snake such as a corn snake, you might not be looking at the biggest terrarium possible, but if you're going for something as a boa constrictor or maybe even a bigger snake like a Burmese python, you really really got to have the room for it. These guys, they do require a massive terrarium, especially the Burmese once they're at an adult size. Number two, are you able to feed with rodents such as mice and rats? Taking care of a snake, of course, also means that you have to feed it. And in general, you feed snakes with mice and rats. You can also feed with something like chickens and rabbits. But the bottom line is that you will have to get used to be feeding with some frozen rodents or maybe even live, depending on your snake. Feeding with rodents might be a bit difficult or challenging, especially for the first time snake owner. It's not an easy thing looking at this mice or rodent that actually Actually, it just looks like it would be if it were alive. Contrary to, for example, cat or dog food that doesn't look like any animal that were once alive, the frozen rat or mites really look like it did when it was alive. So that might be a bit challenging too. So you really have to consider if you are able to feed with these frozen rodents. Number three. Are you able to leave the snake alone when it needs to? A lot of snakes, especially snakes like the bull python, really do require time to be left alone, which means no handling, no stroking, no nothing whatsoever. So that's also a thing that you have to consider. If you are looking for an animal that you can socialize a lot with, that you can pet, that you can have some, that you can spend a lot of time with, then maybe the snake is not the right animal for you. Snakes in general do best when left alone in the terrarium. Number four, can you deal with the smell? In general, the snake itself does not smell. Uh, but if you are running a terrarium that might have a bioactive setup, you might be able to smell the substrate or the plant. You know the smell, it's not that bad at all. But the smell that I'm thinking about is when the snake poops, because that can be quite uh, a challenge, let me say like that. It can smell very, very awful, also depending on the type of snake that you have. Of course, bigger snakes do bigger poops than smaller snakes, but do not be fooled if you're thinking that you're gonna buy a ball python and it's not gonna be big poops or smelly poops because you're in for a surprise then. Number five. Are you ready to have it for many years? Snakes in general can live up to 20 years or even more. So are you actually ready and able to have a pet or a hobby animal, as I like to call them, for that many years? It is a great responsibility taking in any animal and you have to be prepared of having them for a long time. Of course, many things can happen. You can't be forced to move. Maybe you're not allowed to have the animal in the place that you live anymore. Maybe you can get allergic. Of course, that it doesn't really happen with snakes since they're hypoallergenic. Or maybe you just found out that that type of animal is not for you. That also happens. But no matter what, of course, you have to make sure that that animal gets well into another home. But in the beginning, and you also, when you buy a snake, you do need to have the intention of keeping that animal for its entire lifetime. All right, guys, that was five tips to consider before getting your first snake. If you're sitting out there and you have a great tip for someone who might not have their first snake yet and they are pondering if they should buy one or not, please just put it right down in the comment section. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, of course. And if you want to see more from me, just hit subscribe right away. Thank you guys so much for now and bye bye.